Hello there, Cancer, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Sue, and I'm so grateful that you're here. Today, I am doing your general reading for the second half of August, so this will be good from about August 15th to August 31st. Uh, we'll take a look at your overall energies and then get some more details about any obstacles or advice that Spirit has for you with the Tarot. Um, and if you're resonating with this message, I would really appreciate it if you would like, share, or subscribe. And Cancer, congratulations, you were one of my top three views last week. So yesterday, um, on Sunday, I uploaded a special bonus reading for you, so you may want to check that out. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what we have here. We're going to start with your animal spirit guide and see what you have. Oh, so you have the lion. The, the lion is the regal figure of the animal world, right? Uh, somebody that understands their power is good with standing in their power. Sometimes is a person that's quite spiritual and a lot of the people around them don't necessarily get them. The lion is fine being by themselves, having few people in their life, but the people that are in their life, they really um, love and honor and take care of you know so their tribe their soul tribe may be small but it is intense connections so um the interesting thing with the line is that sometimes the line is just misunderstood you may feel a little alone or not you know part of a large community um, but part of this message is just to let you know that you are on your right path and that you are in your power of going on your spiritual path. Really nice. On the bottom, we have a vulture. Wow, interesting, because the vulture is another animal that is totally misunderstood. We think of vultures as being, I don't know, <laughs> dark, <laughs> dark animals. Um, but the vulture is so necessary to keep our ecosystem in balance. You know, they help to eliminate disease. They are scavengers, so they eat animals that have, you know, passed away for some reason. They clean up the environment. Um, but once again, very misunderstood. The vulture is not afraid of hard work. And Cancer, you may be in a situation where you're working really hard on something and the people in your soul tribe may understand it or they may be kind of trying to be supportive, but it's like something that you know you need to do. It may be a little bit of a, a journey that you need to take kind of by yourself. Uh, the vulture is also kind of a, a solitary figure. They, you know, travel sometimes like, I guess, in a flock of some sort, but it is a small group. So it is kind of interesting that both of these are, um, you know, energies of kind of not being understood about who you are. Um, but it is about you standing in your power that you need to understand why you're on this journey, why you're doing the things that you're doing. So let's take a look at your wisdom oracle guide. Um, yeah, exchanging gifts. You know, it is like you're trying to do something maybe even for your soul tribe or for your community. And it's not completely understood by the people in your tribe, but you're trying to bring balance into something within your community or within your life, um, a situation, um, finances, something that you're trying to balance. You're trying to um, get exactly what it is that you're also giving. You may feel, you may be in a, a position where you feel like you're giving more than you're getting um, and trying to bring that into balance. You may be working really hard for your tribe. Um, and this could be financially, like you could be working really hard for the family or for, you know, um, or even within your job uh, arena. You know, you could be working long hours and other people on your team are not maybe putting as, a, as much effort. And you could be getting frustrated with that because on the bottom, we have not for you. You may be asking yourself, am I just giving too much to this situation, to this relationship, to this job? And am I, you know, not getting back exactly what I want? And I think that there is a message here that, you know, you're, you're not, 
being understood because both of these animal spirits are about not being understood. Um, other, other people around you may not be understanding your gifts so much and or putting the same amount of value on your gifts and talents that other people um, or yourself know that they're worth. And that could be why you're saying to yourself, this job, this situation, this relationship is not for me. I'm ready to move on to something else where there is a more balanced situation. Back and forth. Yeah, you're kind of going back and forth about what to do about this situation. One day you may go in and freely give your love, your talents, your gifts to this situation or relationship. And then the next day you're like, wait a minute, I'm not getting what I want out of it. So why am I doing this? And it's leading you to dark thoughts. Um, you know, whenever I get the dark thoughts card, I always feel like this situation that is, you know, you may be resonating with in this case, in this storyline, is part of your soul journey. It's to trigger, you know, something deep inside of you that you're trying to heal, some type of inner wound, and asking yourself, why do I overgive to this situation? Or why am I trying so hard? Why do I want everybody to understand me? Um, you know, what is it that you are wanting from this situation or this relationship? So very interesting. Okay, so let's go to the tarot and let's see what we have here. We're going to look at your present position. Then we'll look at any obstacles on your path, advice from spirit, and then the outcome. And I'm going to lay these out. We'll talk about them, but then we're going to come back and clarify them. So let's see first. What is in your present position? What's your present energy right now? The emperor. You're either trying to gain control of a situation or a situation is controlling you. And I think it's interesting. Both the lion, the lion's kind of the emperor of the jungle, and then you have the emperor here. Um, so it is... Uh, interesting that both of these are energies of either wanting to be in control or also trying to appear that you are in control so it could be that you're just trying to you know uh fake it till you make it sometimes i think of that when i see this card the other thing is that the lion and the emperor you know kind of also um you know, could be a Taurus or it could be a Leo that your, you know, um, your situation may involve. So we'll take a look at that. We're going to clarify that about who the emperor is. Are you the emperor? Are you trying to control the situation? Or are you trying to get control of your emotions in this situation? Really um, interesting. Or are you being controlled by somebody? Okay, so your obstacle is the king of wands. This is, you know, your obstacle here is you're having a hard time <laughs> beating to your own drum. Like it's the king of wands is a is a is a leader that recognizes that they beat to their own drum. You know, they're they're he's drumming his own drum and he's trying to get other people to follow him. It could be that you're having a situation where you're trying to be the emperor, right? You're trying to step into this leadership role of some sort, trying to step into this lion relationship um, or a situation, trying to be like the leader at work, or you're trying to step into being the leader of your household, but there's something you know, um, that keeps pulling you back from that energy. You know, you're, you're feeling like you're, you're giving a lot to the situation, but perhaps you're not getting a lot of people to follow you. Really interesting. Lots of power here. And gender doesn't matter, but I would say there's a lot of masculine energy within this reading. The Lion, the Emperor, and the King of Wands all representing kind of that divine masculine. And remember, all of us have divine masculine and feminine within us. So it could be that your divine masculine is trying to gain control, is 
is trying to come into balance because with this exchanging gifts, there may be an imbalance just within yourself between your divine male and female. Um, really interesting. So let's see what your advice is. Your advice is the sun is taking a look at all the blessings in this situation. You know, you're having difficulty getting people to follow your lead or feeling like you are in control of your own life. But there is blessings in not being in control. You know, there is something, some lesson that you're learning here. The other thing is, is that you may be trying to control too much. And I'm going to come back to controlling your feelings. You may be trying to control your feelings so much, but part of it is that you also need to exchange your feelings with somebody else. You may need to tell somebody else exactly how you're feeling, and you may be kind of going back and forth about, oh, do I tell, tell them or not? <laughs> uh, one day you may be saying, yes, I do, and the next day you're like, no. Is there somebody in your life you need to tell them that they are your son, you know, that your the relationship you'd like to have with them is you know your son you would really like to have this um as part of your life have them as part of your life okay so now let's take a look at the outcome the outcome is the six of cups somebody coming back from the past or trying to have a reunion with somebody in the past um yeah, the moon on the bottom. There are things that you don't know about this situation. Uh, King of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, King of Swords, the star. There's, you know, once again, with two kings on the bottom, one king sitting here. There's a lot of masculine energy in this situation. It's like, you know, the masculine energy. The divine masculine is the one that wants to take action, wants to make the money, wants to, you know, build things, build empires. And the divine feminine is the nurturing part. Um, and it could be that your divine masculine within you is trying to take action, is trying to make things happen in the world so much, but that you're losing the, the love, the joy, the abundance of just creating or just having this person in your life or just having love in your life um and there is something from the past whether it is a past job a past creative project a past relationship that you need to take a look at that is going to resurface you possibly could have a second chance at having this come back into your life whatever that could be so let's take it the um take a look at the emperor page of cups four of wands the hanged man queen of cups on the bottom which i think is really interesting so this is you know the queen of cups is um using your intuition listening to your heart about a situation and i do feel like whatever this situation is for you um there's you know you're kind of like standing in your emperor energy and it's almost as if you want someone else to come in you're waiting for someone else with a hangman you're waiting for someone else to come in and say that they want a commitment with you say that they're sorry for whatever happened because we have the um four of wands which is the 11 11 card so it's it's indicating that there's a true soulmate here now a true soulmate could be your business partner it could be a romantic connection family or friends it could be any um, soulmate connection but there's also a wedding card here so there's something about some long term something that you thought was going to be long term um, is it looking like it might be long term right and there's like you're waiting around for this apology you're kind of standing in this energy of I'm in control of my emotions. <laughs> I'm in control of this situation and I'm just going to wait it out. 
it's that type of energy. And um, it's kind of a little bit, I'm getting this stubbornness, a little bit of a stubbornness to it. Now, I am going to say, I think it's because you feel like you overgave in this connection or this relationship or this business or whatever it is. Like you gave so much. I get the sense that you're kind of burnt out. Um, and you're just like, okay, I'm done with this. I'm moving on. Um, you know, with the vulture, I'm getting a sense that you just don't want to clean this up. It's kind of like, you know, uh, if you have young children, okay, or if you've had young children or, um, you know, and they make one mess after another, you know, like one, one year old, two year olds, you know, they eat and then like the high chair and the floor and about, you know, a three foot radius all around them is filled with mush, right? <laughs> it's just part of the age group. They're wanting to be independent. They're wanting to feed themselves. But in the process, it's just a big mess, right? And they play with the food and uh, whatever, right? And after they eat, you're, you're sitting there, oh, now I have to go in and clean up that mess. Well, it's kind of like the same thing. You feel like there's some mess in your life and you're kind of like, I am so tired of being the one that has to go in and clean it up. Like, I don't want to be the vulture that cleans it up. I want to be the lion that tells the vulture to go clean it up. It's um, really interesting. It's like you really want to be the leader. You want to be the one that says, Hey, you, you all need to clean this situation up. You need to clean this relationship up. You need to clean this business venture up. You need to clean this creative project up. Like there's, you've just like gotten to the end of your rope. I get that sense that you're at the end of your rope. And it's kind of like, you feel as if you're sitting there doing all of the work yourself. And nobody's following. <laughs> like you want to be a leader. You want to have all of these people that are there to support you, to follow your dream, to help you accomplish what it is that you want to accomplish. And it's almost as if you can't get anybody to believe in you. And the sense that I'm getting is it's almost as if you don't believe in yourself. Like you're trying to be a lion, but you're not being a lion. You're trying to be a king of wands, but you're not being a king of wands. So, oh my goodness, look at this. Yeah, it's getting clarity in the situation. Uh, what you don't realize is that there is a lot of love and abundance. Now, look at this. We're getting the, the next two cards, okay, are the sun and the six of cups and look at what just fell out in your in your obstacle you're wanting this beautiful relationship whether it is family friend romance work you want this beautiful relationship you know just how important this relationship is but it's kind of like you've been in this hermit energy kind of going solo the lion is a solo type of animal. Um, the emperor can be very solo. You know, it's kind of like, hey, I'm sitting here on top of my empire. Don't bother me now, right? But the hermit also, it's kind of like you, you wanted, to, I feel like you want to be the one that is strong and the leader. And it's almost as if you're waiting for this other person or other people to come in and recognize just how great you are. Um, but I'm getting a sense that you are questioning your own greatness. Cancer is really interesting. It's like you're going back and forth. I am great. I'm not great. I am great. I'm not great. Um, and it's your dark thoughts. It's about... Being I think you're concerned that you're beating your drum. You're the king of wands. You're standing there beating your drum. And it's like, it's just not happening. It's not just, it's just not happening. 
this person in this connection is not recognizing you uh, at work, right? Your boss isn't recognizing how much work and effort you're doing. You're just feeling like, hey, doesn't anybody recognize me? You know, can't you acknowledge that I'm here? Can't you acknowledge what I'm doing? I'm putting out my gifts and nobody seems to care. And you're just kind of like, oh, just over it. Just over it. Okay, so let's take a look at the sun card because this is your advice. Wow, lots of major arcana here. So with the sun card, we have the temperance on the bottom, two of cups, page of pentacles, six of wands. Okay, so Cancer, the important thing is that you are going to have victory in this situation. And it's going to bring in all these blessings. So we have, you know, the sun card. This is everything that you want. Love, joy, family, uh, success in business, money, financial security, the home that you want, the car you want to drive. Whatever it is that you want to manifest in your life, it's like you can do it. It's like the universe is saying you can do it. What you don't know is that there's some secrets that divine is trying to help you. It's about you stepping into your king of pentacles energy and saying, you know, this is not only what I want, it's what I want for the long term. Like the king of wands, he could change his mind tomorrow. Um, but this is about you stepping into it, saying, this is what I want, and I want it for the long term. And finally, once you get clear, once you put it out there, once you say, I'm going after this, right? Full force. No back and forth. Like, you have to get really serious, Cancer. <laughs> it's do or die time, right? It's like you get really serious, and you go after it as soon as you know what it is that you want to go after. Ask yourself, what is it that you really want? I, I kind of wonder if some of you aren't going back and forth about what it is you really want. Like, you could be, you know, playing one song on your drum one day, and then the next day you wake up and go, well, wait a minute, that's not the song I want to play. I'm going to go play this one, right? And you're going back and forth. You could be even going back and forth about this person from the past. Yes, I want them. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. And it's kind of like, no, get clear. Stand in it. Accept it. Say, this is what I want. Don't be putting out anything of not for me, right? It's about standing in your power, saying, this is what I want with this Lion's Gate portal. You know, the portal is only open till August 12th. So you only have a few more days. It's about getting really strong. What it is it that you want, Cancer? Because look at this. The universe is saying it is for you. You are going to get what you ask for. It's about turning the wheel, seeing the blessings in this situation, seeing the blessings and what it has taken for you to stand up in your own power and say, this is what I want. <laughs> like, this is what I want and I'm going for it. Um, and then the world. You're stepping into a new chapter in your life. Underneath you have temperance. This is, you know, alchemy. This is about, you know, taking bits and pieces of everything that you want and putting them all together, trying to decide what is it that your son is. Um, and then look at this, two of cups. You know, it has something to do with the soulmate connection. Who is the soulmate? <laughs> Who is the soulmate, Cancer? Who's the soulmate? And, you know, making an offer, putting it out to the universe, putting that information out there. This is the person that I want. This is, you know, this can be a business partner too. This is exactly what I want. I want it. And I'm willing to work for it. And I'm wor willing to play the same song day in and day out for as long as it takes until this comes in. Really interesting. And then look at this, Six of Wands. It's like by putting it truly out there and not being wishy-washy, not going back and forth. Cancer, I'm getting tough with you. <laughs> you need to stand in your power in this. You need to completely own the emperor. You know, completely take control of this situation. This is what I want. This is what I want, and this is what I'm going for. 
And you may be afraid that your soul tribe isn't going to understand what it is that you want or back you. But you have victory in this situation. This is a soul lesson about learning that when you really want something and you put it out there and you put all of yourself into it, um, you get what you want. And, you know, I think for some of you, you've been exchanging the gifts with those around you that you think that they want. And this is different. This is exchanging the gifts that you want to give and not perhaps expecting anything in return. It may be about just putting it out there and doing it for you. Yeah, here, look at this. So you have the, with the Six of Cups, okay? So this is, you know, nostalgic memory, somebody from the past, childhood sweetheart, um, somebody definitely that, you know, you've been feeling in this like stuck energy, like, I don't know, is it ever going to happen for me? But what you don't realize is that here's this cup coming in from the universe. This is letting me know that you are soon going to either hear from this person or have action from this person. The universe is bringing in this cup of love, um, or it could be the job that you want or, you know, the promotion you've been looking for, whatever it is that you've been wanting, you're sitting there going, I don't know, will it ever happen? Yes, it will. Here it is. But the first part is that you have to really put it out to the universe that this is what you want. Oh my goodness. And then the judgment card. This is second chances. You know, I do feel like for some of you, this is a person that you may have lost connection with for one reason or another, be separated from. Um, or it could be, you know, a, a job that you thought you didn't get. Like you really wanted it and then you didn't get it or a promotion, or a business. This, this is talking about getting a second chance. You're getting a second chance at this. And it's about, um, you've been waiting, okay, <laughs> with the three ones. You've been waiting for some, for some time. Moon is on the bottom again. Seven of Pentacles. You have, you know, you have planted the seeds. This is about you planting the seeds and really building healthy boundaries, being through a lot of war battles, right? This is the wounded warrior. You've been through a lot with this and you're just about to give up. It's the 11th hour. You're doubting that this is ever going to happen. You're thinking, oh my goodness, I just have to move on. This is not for me. You're sad about it. The five of cups. And yet, you get the crossroads. You get to decide again. Is this really what you want? Because guess what? It's coming back around. You're getting a second chance to truly step into your emperor, emperor energy. Really nice. Um, yeah, it's about, it really is about you truly deciding what it is that you want and then going for it. And not kind of like having one foot in the door and one foot out of the door, if you know what I mean. And that could be your job or a relationship. It's, it's, not, about, it's, it's not about being wishy-washy. It's about being really forthright with yourself and with this person or job or situation. It's about really stepping into that, saying, I'm getting off the seesaw. I either really want in or I really want out. And I think, Cancer, you really want in. You really do. Okay, so let's pull your Cosmic Journey card. This is really interesting. It, you know, it's getting my, I don't know, I'm getting inspired. It's kind of like, wow. You know, like, I really think you get this chance to do something that you thought was not going to ever happen or you lost the chance before. It's, you know, for some of you, it could be like a childhood uh, sweetheart or something like that. High school sweetheart, you went your both ways. You may have both gotten married. Maybe both had kids. Now you're both divorced. <laughs> it's kind of like, oh, wait a minute. My heart has really been beating for you all these years. 
Or it could be that job, that career that you thought you would never be able to have or that you tried to have in the past and then, you know, life happens and for some reason you had to leave it. You know, maybe at one time it didn't pay enough and now it pays more or maybe you've made money in another way so now you can go do this, you know, um, because you don't need as much financial support from it. It's really interesting because it's about, it's on your path for a reason. The universe has said to you, yeah, you've always wanted this. There's something you've always wanted. And now you get a chance to see if you really, really do. And, and if you do, you have to really step into that emperor energy and say, this is what I want and I'm going for it. And not really care too much about your soul tribe. Okay, a light grows brighter only by lighting another. And, you know, I think it's really interesting with this energy in this. It's almost as if when you step into your true knight, king of wands energy, I almost said knight of wands, you're definitely going to be stepping into a king of wands energy and beating your drum and going in the direction that you want to, you think that nobody's going to follow you or be inspired by you or look up to you. You're concerned that they're not going to understand this. But guess what? You actually, by beating your drum and playing the song that you want to, you go in that direction and people are inspired. And I'm not saying that they're going to jump in and do the same thing you are. But it's going to help them to find the light within inside them, what inspires them. And then they go off and they start to follow their own light. Really, um, you know, you're being inspired. You're, you're being inspired by yourself and by doing that, you're also inspiring others. You're really and truly becoming the lion, the emperor, the king of wands. You want to. Um, I don't think you actually realize right now that by going for what you want to do, you actually are a leader for others. You're very inspiring for others. Lovely energy. Okay, and here is your Lover's Oracle card to finish out your reading. And once again, Cancer, if you've enjoyed this reading, please consider like, sharing, or subscribing. My beloved, though we may be physically apart, spiritually we are always united. For love transcends space and time. Nothing is missing. And, you know, I don't care if this is for you a love reading or if it's about a job or a career that you really want. It doesn't matter. There is something in the past that you have separated yourself from some things, some situation, some career, some relationship, some person. There's something that you're separated from right now and you have always been spiritually connected to it. You always knew in the back of your mind that someday you may have a chance to do this again or be with this person again. And guess what? Your someday is here. Okay, Cancer, I'm going to leave it there. I'm wishing you so much love and light in this situation and all your situations. And I hope to see you again really soon. Bye for now.